Hi guys, I'm Gary from Life of Gaz. First of all, just like to say a big thanks to everyone who supported me. We've actually got over 100 subscribers now. First YouTube milestone. Can't wait. This is Amaya. She's going to feature in a few future videos. She's a Bengali girl, but for now, let's look at some Java Fern. Hi, welcome to Life of Gaz. Today we're going to be looking at Java Fern and how to get the best out of it. I plant it on little twigs. We're going to show you how that's done. So to start off with, we've got our piece of wood and we've got our java fern. Now this I had planted in another tank. I actually had it planted into the substrate and it doesn't grow too badly doing that. But if you have a look on some of the mature leaves and some of the older leaves, this is one of the leaves at the closer at the start of the rhizome, we've actually got their own little rhizomes growing on the ends. So what we're going to do is not snip but just break these off very gently and hopefully they're going to come off just in one piece and there we've got a half a dozen leaves and another little rhizome just starting off on the end just there. I don't know if you can see that one just there. So that's going to make a nice little section for the plant. Now in here we've got a couple more of those uh, just growing off underneath some of these leaves which we'll leave attached. Another one growing just there. And then we've got the actual rhizome itself which I'm only going to split this one in half. And you can see the active growing area so I'm going to make sure that this is growing into the centre of the piece of wood rather than being up at one of the ends as this one this is already growing and is going to grow a lot quicker so we're just going to make a little snip in there on that section now that little section this little section here and this section is all we're going to really use to start this project off uh, we could maybe take another little cut i think actually i think looking at the amount of leaves on here and trying to look through that tangle of little roots there we might be able to get a sneaky cut in there but it does look quite small so I think I'll leave it for this time and then what we're going to do is just attach these at intervals along and as they grow what's going to happen is is that I'm going to just uh, train them down the stem and any of these little babies that come off I can then plant back into the root systems to enable them to grow so I'm just going to tie these onto that bit of wood and just like with other plants which I attach to wood I just use fishing line I just make a simple loop in that just a very basic slip knot that's the wrong way around let's use this end and then that slip knot enables me to put it over the plant around the wood tighten it off and then tie it off with another loop around it to keep the plant in the place where I want it so what we're going to do is we're going to start off just with this small piece up at this end and work our way along and there it is in the tank with the three sections cut and attached to that piece of wood and the active growing section the piece I put in the middle I've made sure that the active growing bit is growing towards the light occasionally with the java fern little babies break off of the ends of the leaves and all I do with these is I just find a gap and post them into it and they continue to grow into the nest of leaves and roots that we have and as we do that this bush gets thicker each time got a nice big bush of it in there now and that's all been made in the same way of just adding one stick to the next and then planting along the entire length of the stick getting every single piece growing and then that way it's hidden that filter so now you can't see anything of that corner of the tank 